good evening i'm just having a evening glass of cabernet sauvignon with you guys cheers so in today's video i figured it would be helpful to do a little chatty video around my most recent purchases and kind of tell you what I think of them so far. Um, mostly just what I've purchased this summer um, and items that I get a lot of questions about because I think it's easy to post like an unboxing video, but um, sometimes I just, I don't do a great job of like telling you guys like how I'm enjoying something. So I figured I would take some time today to talk to you guys about some of my most recent luxury purchases and what I think of them. So if that is something that you're interested in hearing more about, stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I have um, three luxury purchases that I haven't done reviews for um, I kind of feel like I could just cover them all in a single video versus like a bag review video where I kind of go more into depth and it requires a little bit more discussion so the items that I want to talk to you guys about are some of actually my most favorite items so I'm really excited to tell you what I think of them so far so I figured let's start off with the bomb dia mules from louis vuitton these are all from louis vuitton <laughs> um okay so i got these sandals a little over like maybe two months ago and i am not exaggerating i wear them every single week i wear them like every other day um they are so comfortable and i knew that i would like them but I didn't know how much I would like them. So stats on these sandals, these are a 30 set size 37 and I didn't really think much of them. I think on the website, they kind of just look very Birkenstocky, um, which is nothing wrong with that. They're really comfortable shoes, but they didn't like scream out at me, but I went into the store one day and I saw them on display. I tried them on. And I actually had my eye on different sandals, the ones that have like the Kusan leather, like ombreant stuff on it. They were just not comfortable. They were really wide. But when I saw these, I asked to try it on in my size and they were so comfortable. Um, I think these are pretty popular. Um, so I kind of like thought about them for a little bit. I saw what other people were posting about them but I didn't see too much on like reviews on comfort, all of that. So I didn't really know too much of what I was getting myself into, but I really liked that you could adjust how tight you want the top and the front straps. I keep the front strap in the middle and I keep the back bigger strap on the tightest setting and they just fit perfectly. There's also like, it's like molded for a nice arch and comfort in the toe area. And I promise you, I have not had one day of discomfort. I wear these to walk downtown, to go walk to concerts. I wear it to the mall. I wore them today to the mall. So they are so, so comfortable. But as far as wear, I've worn them a ton and this is what the bottoms look like. So you can see a lot of the wear is in the toe area. Um, and then not so much on the bottom because this is rubber. And I wanna to touch on that. I saw comments um, about these sandals where everyone that had them was kind of like shocked at the wear and how much it wears just right off the bat. Um, I was actually not shocked. Uh, these shoes, if you look at them and you have them, they are leather at the bottom, except for the heel, which is rubber. They are leather at the bottom and they have a black paint coating so it's not plastic like normal shoes are usually rubber or plastic these are leather 
So it's inevitable that when you're walking, even the first time you're walking, the paint is gonna come off the leather. So I always expected that to happen. And with any other shoes that you own that are leather bottom soles, like the, loaf, the Gucci loafers, if you have anything like that, um, you know that they're gonna wear down. That's just part of the quality of the shoe and the experience of owning like a handcrafted uh, luxury item like that. And it's not plastic. So in ways that it would wear faster, um, if you buy like, let's say you just buy like a rubber sandal, you can wear it down and then the glue comes off or you know something can break. The quality and the craftsmanship of shoes like this are so high, but the wear on them can show first and faster because of the materials that are used. So these are high quality materials, but because of that, it's gonna show more wear. Um, and for those of you that don't know, you can pretty much get all of this repaired and i'm not saying repaired as in like there's something wrong with it but what i like to do is i like to wear my leather soles down to a certain amount bring them to a cobbler and the cobbler will actually replace them with a like an appropriate like sole on it it could be they'll decide what you need like some people want a rubber sole like the bottom here to keep you from slipping but if you were to bring a brand new pair of shoes that have leather soles to a cobbler and ask them to put a rubber protective sole, they're gonna tell you that they have to shave down the bottom of the shoe in order to get an appropriate and like up to par rubber sole put on. So why not wear it down to where the cobbler would have had to sh shave it down? And I'm sorry if I'm going into too much detail, but I think it's helpful to know that this is normal wear and tear and it could look worse for how much I wear it. So overall, obsessed with these i've already started looking at other colors and if they come out with a different colorway that i am drawn to i'm probably gonna get it just for how much wear i've been getting out of them so those are the bomb dm mules if you were hesitating to get them and you need a comfy sandal but you want a little juice to your sandals i highly highly recommend these phenomenal okay so next up is the business card holder from Louis Vuitton. I made a few videos of this, uh, obviously unboxing it, talking about why it's the best kept secret from Louis Vuitton. I did one comparison compare, in comparison to the Chanel card flap card holder. Um, but I've been using this every single day. This has been the easiest, best purchase I think I've ever made because I already knew that I liked the, the style of having like the flap, all of that. Um, I still keep like my ID in the front pocket, all of that. But this has just been so easy to slide in and out of bags. It is much more thin, more compact, and I just like the feel of it. Um, I did just recently get a Chanel tote, so I will probably end up using the Chanel wallet for the Chanel tote. I just think it's cute to like mix and match with your um, brand. So love 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 this wallet this retails for 360 dollars, which you know is much less it's like almost like more than double chanel is almost more than double this card holder price and it's just really well made um i can't say anything negative about it mine is made in spain but yeah i've been using this so 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 much And finally, my last most recent luxury item is are the Louis Vuitton sunglasses. So these are the sunglasses that I purchased this summer. I didn't see these on the website. I actually saw them in store. I didn't know they existed. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has the Louis Vuitton monogram in gold on the sides and it has the floor the flower on uh, both sides of the end of it of the um, handle so this is what they look like on they are just a very classic looking silhouette um i don't have anything i didn't have anything like this shape i would compare it to like the wayfarer it's a wayfarer um silhouette from Ray-Ban very classic and I just knew that like for luxury sunglasses I wanted something classic 
so i thought this was really cute it didn't have too much of like screaming louis vuitton i mean yeah it says louis vuitton but i just thought it was like a really nice pair of sunglasses and the quality is just outstanding um the acetate is really thick it sits really well on the face and like my biggest pet peeve with sunglasses is when you smile or you're like you know putting it on your face it like creases on your cheeks or it slides down and this just fits really really well but overall really great size really great purchase um, and I will include if they still have them online I'll include links to everything that I talked about today down um, below in the description but as far as Louis Vuitton sunglasses they come with a fabric like sleeve almost it looks like a mini dust bag for sunglasses and that's usually what I carry these in just because can you imagine trying to fit this into a bag I guess this would fit into like the on the go or tote but yeah, I usually keep it in there and the, the fabric sleeve actually doubles as like the glasses cleaner. So it's really, really convenient. Um, but it's really nice that they come with this like magnetic like trunk style case. Um, and it has microfiber on the inside. So if I'm, you know, let's say I get a new pair of sunglasses and I want to rotate them on display. I will definitely be using this as a way to store them on my vanity. But yeah, those are the Louis Vuitton sunglasses. I believe they are called the Bianca or the Blancas. I will make sure to put in the right name for them. And I'm pretty sure they still make them. And if they don't, um, Steph for, from Handbagholic, she has the cutest pair. They're very similar in the exact um, like eye shape, but hers has the Louis Vuitton, like the LV, a little bit more prominent on the side. And those are really, really cute too. So if I had seen those first or these first like it would have just been whichever one i saw first um but i will try to find hers too and link it down below in case you like that style better but honestly you can't go wrong with a good pair of sunglasses um my mom always told me that we need to protect our eyes and our feet and like making sure we buy like good shoes and good sunglasses so i never feel guilty about spending um money on good protective eyewear I just think it's important and it doesn't hurt if they look really cute on. Okay guys, so that is basically a rundown of all my thoughts on everything that I've purchased in the last few months, basically this summer, as far as like luxury, like other luxury accessories, like shoes, sunglasses, wallets, I feel like that falls under it. If you guys have any questions or if you want me to dedicate um, a video to any of the items that I talked about today leave me a note uh, DM me on Instagram at decor and designer I'm super active on there um, I love chatting with you guys on there as well and this is what happens I just like start talking and then I forget that I have a glorious glass of wine these glasses are actually from Crate and Barrel or CB2 Crate and Barrel. I will link them below. They are just a really nice modern looking glass. Um, they look great with, they work great for red wine, white wine. Um, but I like, who doesn't like an aesthetic wine glass? So thank you guys for joining me tonight. And if you had a glass of wine with me, cheers. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.